In today's Funny Friday, our most peachy stand-up comedian friend is here to promote an upcoming show. We've got Tom Emmons, sometimes known as, as Peachy Tom, joining us in the studio. Welcome. Glad you're here. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thank you. Uh, you're a hitchhiking goat farmer and a free-range performer uh, with material that is locally sourced, much like uh, Avis Produce there. Tell us what, what makes you so peachy. What's the story? What makes me so peachy? Well, I'm sweet. I'm fuzzy. Mm -hmm. I see that. Inside's a dark, ugly pit. I'm, I'm not really that. <laughs> but... <laughs> I'm, uh, my website's peachytom.com. I started telling people I'm just peachy, and it just kind of stuck. And so now it's almost a thing where people will ask me how I'm doing, other comedians and stuff, just to make me say yeah. I'm just peachy. All right. Um, we won't put you through it next time you come on. But, but tell us, for anybody that doesn't know about the, the goats and the hitchhiking stuff. Uh, I, I hitchhiked a decent bit. I got my license after I graduated from high school. So I uh, used to hitchhike around uh, upstate New York when I was in high school. And I have goats now, uh, so I keep my kids, you know, in a pasture in the front yard where kids belong. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I have like a lot that. of kids right now, actually. We raise little pet goats, and so we have, uh, you know, if anybody wants a pet goat, hit up peachytom.com. Uh, can love you bring to have. one of them for an animal segment? That would we'll be awesome. I would okay. love to bring little, Good. yeah, that okay. would be great. We haven't had a kid on the show before. Kids um, are so fun. You're always working on new material. Sometimes it's going to come from current events or from from weird news or from the people you run into in the green room? Uh, what's it coming from these days? Uh, what's it coming from these days? Uh, sometimes when, a, uh, going with current events, sometimes when a comedian does really well, they say a comedian killed. Mm -hmm. But they also say laughter is the best medicine. So I'm like, which is it? Is it medicine or will it kill you? Or is it both, like the COVID vaccine? <laughs> <laughs> might be medicine, it might kill you, it's, you know, it's stuff like that. It's just, uh, you know, trying to find the, the funny in uh, yeah. what we all have to deal with these days. And you always, you always want to push the envelope, you always want to, uh, you know, keep, keep them people guessing. guessing what's sure. coming next. they're just jokes. And, and your process, let's talk about that. I love the, the, you know, understanding where it all comes from when you're writing your jokes, you're planning your performance. Um, what works for you and what advice do you give? Some people watch and think, you know, maybe I could be a stand-up comedian someday. I love helping new comedians with advice on what they need to do if they want to get on stage. One, have a place for your ideas, either a file on your phone. I have a record thing on my phone where I just pull it out and I'll just say the joke, as mm -hmm. I would say it if I were in front of a crowd. And then I have a notebook where I have to put that uh, so that when I think of an idea, I can go back to that notebook and you know, extrapolate that premise, make mm -hmm. that a, add a punchline. If there's not a punchline, it's not a joke. Ah, the punchline should be the at the end, right? The punchline should be at the end, and the punch word should be at the end of the punchline. Like, there's a word that brings it all together, that uh -huh. lets everybody in on all the information. Put that as far at the end of the joke as you can, because you don't want to be still talking when people start laughing. Mm -hmm. Smart. Um, right, and so. you're and you're happy to you know give advice. You love to see a, a rising comic succeed. I mean, as far as absolutely, open it's rare. And, and all <laughs> it's rare, but they keep trying. Uh, you travel all over to perform. You're locally though. Your baby is the Swamp Rabbit comedy. You've got mm -hmm. shows, open mic events. Tell us about Swamp Rabbit comedy in general. Swamp Rabbit comedy is a lot of fun. Every Wednesday night we do an open mic. Mm -hmm. uh, Swamp Rabbit comedy. It's free on open mic night. We have a lot. Of, we have a core of maybe ten or twelve comedy fans that are there yeah. every week and it's just a nice tight group where I can do longer sets and play with things and it's Test a lot of fun. Them out. Exactly. Try out new jokes but in longer form and kind of play with the ideas more and it's a little more laid back and that's a lot of fun. And then on Friday nights, once a month we do like a showcase, which we have one coming up next Friday night, March thirty first, with Matt White. He is won North Carolina's funniest comic. He's won Carolina's funniest comic. He's won Port City's next top comic or something like that. Uh, <laughs> he's won a bunch of yeah. festivals and competitions, and he's going to be here rounding out that show with Amelia Nelson from Traveler's Rest and Cody Hughes from Hendersonville, and I will be your host, and that's going to be a lot of fun. That is next Friday night at VFW Post 9273 in Piedmont. And we'll wrap this with putting that information on screen so everybody knows how, how to find you. Um, I've got to wonder, though, in all your years in comedy, you know, different uh, times are received different ways, different performances. Have you ever really bombed? What was it like, and what kind of guts does it take? Absolutely, I have bombed, and it is painful the yeah. entire time you're bombing. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't happen often because I, you know, try and avoid that. I try and, and preparation. Be, preparation is totally key. Knowing your material, you know, having that down cold so that when you get up there, you know what you're going to say as soon as you start. Yeah. And you don't get rattled by the audience not being on board. You have to adapt and roll with that and play some crowd work. Get the audience back in your... The audience needs to be on team laugh. Yeah. They're all a team of laughter. And so you need to bring... The, they're a bunch of individuals. You have to bring them together as a team of laughers. 
that's just the way people are. They want that support. If everybody's, if, if everybody else isn't laughing, one person's not wanting to put themselves out there. Yeah, give them what they want and, and uh, grin and bear it whenever happens. But uh, exactly. you know, we always admire comedians. We love to have you on. And we want to put your show info on screen. So a week from today, Swamp Rabbit Comedy presents Matt White. That is March 31st, 8 p.m. at VFW 9273 in Piedmont. The address, 112 Sterling Grove Road. Tickets are $10 at the door. Going to be a great time, so go check that out. Tom, thank you so much for being here. We appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me.